Hallo allemaal, welkom bij op mijn kanaal. Ik ben Joey Jack. Thank you so much for watching. In today's video, I am going to be discussing with you guys, or not really discussing with you guys, but sharing my thoughts on what I loved on Netflix. So basically, my top five shows on Netflix um, up until now, right? Up until, I let's say, January 2020. Before we do get this video started, I do want to remind you, all Shablift, if you can you know, subscribe, hit that subscribe button. If you like that chat, if you like my videos, if you like my channel, uh, click on that subscribe button and become part of this amazing family. Um, how amazing. Also, if you have yet to follow me on my Instagram, check it out. And um, I'm gonna post cute stories and things. And if you send me a DM, I will eventually get back to you. Eventually, I mean, it's because sometimes I get a lot and sometimes I get don't and sometimes I forget to check. So yeah, anyways, I will definitely try and get back to you on that. So without further ado, here is my top five list of shows on Netflix that I watched, that you should watch, and that I think are absolutely phenomenal. So coming in at number five, and it's at number five because I watched this quite a while ago, is Undercover. It is echt a Nederlandse series, and I think echt, it is one of the best series I've watched. It is so well made. I was completely shocked. My boyfriend was completely shocked. I absolutely love it. So let me give you kind of a quick summary of what it is. So we got this like ecstasy maker, ecstasy, I guess, dealer. And he lives in like this really um, funny Brabant, uh, what do you call it? Like a trailer park or something like that, right? And then um, he and his um, his wife, who is amazing, and she's played by this incredible Dutch actress, um, has a little dog who she calls Cleesy, which I'm obsessed with. Anyways, if I ever get a dog, I'm going to name it Cleesy. And um, so what happens is that cops, right, policemen or like detectives come to their um, community undercover and they kind of start following them. And it's really crazy because it makes you think like, okay, we know that there's undercover cops. That This is what it made me think. But is it actually like ethical? Because you just need to see it. I, It's the way it develops and the way it pulls on your heart. It's echt geweldig. Als je het niet gezien, echt dit week, je moet de hele series kijken. That's all you need to do. Okay, so number five, Undercover, absolutely loved it. Ook is it heel chill, omdat het Nederlands is. Dus hallo, hoe geweldig. Een Nederlandse series, echt heel top gemaakt. Dus kom op Nederland, we moeten supporten. Coming up at number four is of course a um, house series. So by house series, I mean it's called Tiny House Nation. And there's a movement in the United States where people are leaving their big homes and just kind of minimalizing and going small. And I've always been super curious about that because I've always been a city person. So I think, okay, you should definitely watch this to get a little inspiration on how people cut down on all of their stuff. You know, because we think like I think, I need a billion rooms. I need eight rooms. I need nine rooms. I need 10 rooms. Like, do you really? So this really, really cool series shows you like every episode, it's different families who cut down on their houses and just kind of minimize and go small. And um, the, the two hosts help them create and build their tiny house. And the tiny houses are so cute. They're mobile, so you can move them around wherever you want to go. And it's couples like young couples. It's a, like an older couple. So I think that that's really, really cool. And I don't know, I just love house things. I love like home improvement. I love like home decorating. So I think that that is definitely something you should watch. Definitely try one episode and see how you like it. I absolutely loved it. Coming in at number three is of course Queer Eye. I absolutely love this show. It's a feel good show. It's super American. So of course it's very emotional a lot of crying, but it's so, so nice. What it is, is these five 
fabulous gay guys, right? The Fab Five. One of them does um, hair and beauty and makeup um, and like skincare. The other one does home improvement. The other one does like inner um, improvement. The other one does cooking and the other one does fashion. They go to the middle of America and they make over these people who need like help, you know, who like don't take care of themselves and they're nominated by their family. And usually what I love about this show is that it is people who are like in the Midwest, right? Where they're not used to gay people. And these like fabulous five gay guys come up here. They roll on in and they start making over and it's pretty magical what happens. Anyways, I've cried like 50,000 times watching this TV show. And if you want a feel good show that you can just watch and like kind of just see, you know, how there's hope in this world, then you should definitely give that one a shot. They did just remake a new episode of them in Japan, which is really difficult um, because it's in Japanese. So it's like, yeah, it was not my favorite. So you should definitely start with the first um, season of that, right? That's my number three. Coming in at number two, and I think that I personally connected to it. It's called Cheer. Now, you're like, Cheer, is it about cheerleaders? I'm not going to watch it. Listen, if you want to know what cheerleading is like, first of all, if you want to know what university life is like in a small town in Texas with gay kids and like, um, different ethnic backgrounds, you should watch this. It's so good. I cannot explain it to you guys. It's about how like the cheerleading world has, first of all, evolved. But then more than that, it's about like the life of these kids and they're in university now. So maybe they're like 20, 18, 19. They're in a junior college, which is um, lower than bachelors. Um, but you just get to see their life and you get to see like what life is like in rural Texas and like they're wearing cabo hats. There's people who have their guns. It's just amazing. And I think for you Dutch people who are watching my channel would love to see that culture shock. My boyfriend watched it and I, and we were like, oh my God, I could not stop screaming at the TV and being like, babe, look, babe, look. And he was like this the whole time. because of everything that was going on. So the series is called Cheer. It follows this big cheerleaders, like the top division, meaning like the team that wins the most prizes, like the best team of cheerleading in their division, it follows them and like how they practice and how insane the sport is. Like their rib cages are broken. Like the girls get thrown up in the air, like meters, meters doing flips and things. And it's like, oh my gosh. Thumbs, two thumbs up. All she believes. Chakaika. All she believes. Coming in at number one. Okay. I could not sleep after watching this series. It was so creepy. It's called Don't <laughs> With Cats. Now, hear me out. It is short. It is three episodes. It is real. It's a docu-series. So it follows the story of this psychopath who starts making videos online back in like 2010, uploading YouTube videos of killing cats. You guys, I'm not even kidding. This video is, it, it, this series is just so, so cringeworthy. So you have these like internet nerds, right? And it's 2010, so like the internet is taking its storm and there's crazy things happening. And this one psychopath uploads a video of him um, murdering a poor innocent little kitty and the internet nerds find it and they're on a quest to like hunt this killer down. And this quest leads them into insane things. And anyways, I'm just gonna tell you, like it starts here and it ends here and when you're when the finale is it's like a like it's like 10 minutes they're explaining everything with music and you are like oh my god how are people this insane honestly don't with cats it's so good i watched it in one night and then i couldn't sleep for like three days but i just get weirded out really quick and i don't like like i don't like to feel 
like that nasty energy of nasty people. But so then why am I recommending to you? I just think it's so brilliantly made and I think this story needs to be told and I think um, it's just super, super entertaining. So definitely go and check that one out. Now, I'm going to be doing more of these. I want to do these like monthly, my top five Netflix series that I've been currently watching. And obviously I didn't watch all of these in January, but I haven't done one before. So I wanted to do it now. Now, let me know if you guys have watched any of this or if one of them really intrigues you. If you have started watching one, let me know and all should believe, tell me what you think. Now, thank you so, so much for watching this video and give me a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you in my next video. Dewey, bye.